Welcome to this busted old house. I'm your host, Jay Irvin, and uh, this is a busted old house. So here we are on the front porch. The house is a uh, folk Victorian, it was built in 1900, hasn't had a lot of updating since then. And um, they tell me that it has good bones, but I think they're just trying to ease the pain of all the stuff that I have to get done. It has a lovely uh, wraparound porch, as you can see. Right now I'm using it for storage of uh, an old washer and dryer. And uh, I'm not sure how my neighbors feel about that. But fortunately, I'm in a kind of business-like area. Um, and I don't think too many people are making complaints. I haven't heard anything in 11 months, so let's hope that it keeps uh, happening that way. So let's walk on inside and check it out. So this was the living room. I'm going to be using it as a dining room. There's a lot of crap here right now. I don't have a lot of storage space, so uh, it's a lot of moving around. This is the, what will be the kitchen. It was a kitchen, but you can see that we ripped a lot of stuff out of here. Back here, we're gonna put in a, a half bathroom so people don't have to poop upstairs when uh, they're visiting me. I don't have to deal with that. And um, we're gonna put a washer and dryer over in this area. You can see we got the connection in there. Put a nice door in there. And this was the dining room. It will now be a living room. So uh, right now I'm priming. We sheet rock this. We took out a lot of plaster, a lot of lathe, a lot of crap, a lot of sweat and tears, mostly tears, some sweat. Oh, we put this doorway in too. Here's a quick shot of the backyard with that sweet dumpster. We'll take a walk out there. This is par partly what uh, drew me to the property. The lady here that was lived here before, she was a gardener. And uh, obviously me being a landscape architect, could really appreciate you know, the azaleas, which are in bloom over here right now. Uh, then over here we got some flowering dogwoods, an eastern redbud back there. That's the door that leads to the basement. Uh, we'll take a walk down there. When they built the house, uh, this is considered a Yankee basement. And uh, what that means is that they only finish the front half of the basement. The rest of it in the back is dirt. And uh, they only did this um, in order to put their hot water heater and, you know, some of the structure of the house, uh, you know, the pipes and stuff are all based out of this area. Um, and then the rest of it, they left dirt. There's a cheaper way to do things. So you can see there's a lot of debris back here. Eventually, I'd like to take that all out and make this into a usable room. But uh, we'll see about that later on down the road. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, we had redone the entire plumbing system. And uh, it took a couple times, you know, had to sweat some pipes and some of them didn't exactly work right away. But uh, it's running well now. We've had this in for about five or six months now. And uh, no problems. Where's some wood so I can knock on it? Great. Mumford and Sons. Hey, let's go upstairs. So, as you can see, um, we've done a lot of work upstairs. A lot of sheetrocking, put in new insulation. We left this open here and have a ledger here for when uh, we do painting up there so we can make a scaffolding system and don't break our necks trying to jimmy up ladders and crap. Um, eventually it's going to have to come down so I can get rid of all this junk. This stuff is itchy and nasty. The plaster, the lathe, 
that's still back in there. That's got to come out. There's only two rooms left where that has to happen. This is the hallway. We turned this uh, attic door the opposite way. It was facing back there before. This is the master bedroom. Looking out over a sweet bakery. It smells fantastic every day, many times a day. Mounted into the wall, an area for a flat screen TV. Box out an area to put a dresser into the wall to maximize space. There was a lot of dead space out in that hallway before. This is the second bedroom. Uh, a lot of junk in here right now. This still has to be done, ripped out, sheet rocked, the whole nine yards. Yeah, save the bathroom for last, I guess. And uh, it's 90% done. Some fancy artwork. Fancy shower. Fancy cabinets. Uh, we need to install the sink, the door, obviously. Otherwise, how'd you get in in the first place? Uh, some trim around the windows, and that's about it. So, thanks for coming along on this tour with me. I know a lot of you have been asking about updates on the house. I'll show you the attic maybe next time, and some more progress. And I'll talk to you soon. I'll show you the door. All right, I got work to do. I can't be showing you around all day. Get the hell out.